Deceiving, hating, hurting, killing, among friends, compatriots, neighbors, and humans. They have no right to live. And those who just watched and didn't do anything, I will punish them all! Killing among your compatriots? I wonder if he's talking about Artina. Miss Artina was killed by her allies under suspicion of being a spy. But why is he so obsessed with the death of someone who is not even involved with him? because he actually was involved with my death. What do you mean by that? He was the reason I was persecuted. What? So was he the key enemy personnel that you treated? Yes. That man was Judge Nemo. My death is what triggered Judge Nemo's birth. That's the responsibility that you were talking about. And I'm also partially responsible for this. If I had killed everyone there while I was enraged, this wouldn't have happened. But that was because I stopped you! This is no longer a weight that you must shoulder alone. Don't blame yourself too much. Teach you a lesson.
Sau. Trustworthy. The word faith is only a fantasy. Not a single man possesses such a thing. Doubting innocence, betrayal, humans killing each other. These are all because of the humans. So I... Are all of these Nemo's voices? He's despised humans for 400 years. What the hell happened to him? We might be able to gain a clue for extinguishing Nemo's malice by getting to the bottom of that. It's time for you to confess, Thief Angel. Fen Fen! Just because your precious lord might get lured away by her, you don't have to talk to her like that! Idiot! How dare you! Sure. I'll explain. I'll tell you everything. Then let's start with Judge Nemo's true identity. He was a soldier, an intelligent man who had already become a lieutenant commander at a very young age. My country and his were in an extended war, which had started long before either of us were born. The everlasting hatred was painstakingly portrayed by the punishment he received after failing his mission and getting caught by us. Artina's story vividly depicted the unbearable brutality of humanity. The enemy stripped away the soldier's last hopes and replaced them with pain. After he survived his ordeal of being in the enemy's hands, he was suspected of being a spy and was betrayed by his own country. His country punished him by taking away his beloved family. It was the humans and the war that seized the soldier's dignity as a human being and created Judge Nemo. So you were the one who saved him? Yes, 
He happened to wander into my treatment center near the border. He was extremely dehydrated and malnourished. The doctors and nurses had already escaped the war zone, and only a few patients and I remained. <laughs> what a fool. You should have run away with the others. <laughs> You're right, but I couldn't. And that's why you were killed by your allies? Yes. I have no regrets. I followed my own beliefs. The only regret I have is the promise I shared with a certain vampire. <coughs> Just stay on topic for now. Mr. Vampire wasn't the only man who suffered because of my death, however. Judge Nemo, huh? He wished to end his life, but the war wouldn't allow that. Once again, he was taken hostage by my country and forced to live. What a horrible existence! Of course he would hate humans after that. My nightmare can't even compare to what he went through for real. To him, Artina must have been like a stream of light in the desert of his despair. His hatred toward humans must be immeasurable. But he fought against his hate for as long as he could. His conscience and reasoning told him that revenge wasn't the answer. However, he was dragged further into the darkness by the evils of humanity until, finally, his rationale was broken. I was always right there by his side, but without my body, the only thing I could do was shout to him with my silent voice. He concluded that humans were only good for hurting each other, including their loved ones, and planned his revenge against them. But this was only to be the beginning of Judge Nemo's scheme. He then aimed his hatred towards demons and angels for letting humans run rampant, and determined that they were just as guilty. And the rest is history, huh? I visited him many times after Lady Flan took me in. Of course, my voice was never able to reach someone who didn't believe in angels. That is really sad. I wanted to stop him, no matter what. So I sought help from Lady Flan. How did she respond to your pleas? She said we needed funds to prepare for the Rising Armageddon. So I worked as hard as I could to collect as much hell as possible, as quickly as possible. After all your efforts, and being labeled as a thief angel in the netherworld, that robot was the end result? Great funds or X, right? Is that Archangel mentally okay? Well... Lady Flan's prophecy about the Rising World Crisis was accurate. It's just... the solution that she prepared was... that... thing. Basically, your mission wasn't to collect money. You were only trying to atone for your guilt. Yes. I'm fine with not everyone agreeing with me. I'm only here to take responsibility for my own part in this. Looks like you really mean it. Fine. Although we have differing motives, we're aiming for the same result. Fenric? Any objections? I'm not fully convinced, but at least we now have a clue to defeating Nemo's malice. I have no objections, my lord. Excellent. That's my Fenric. I'm counting on you. 
Understood. All is for my lord.